Hello. Today we're going to make another one of the items that I make for my family Christmas party. And this is an ornament candy holder. And I made them different every year. I've made gingerbread men. I've made little stockings. I've made mousse. I've done something different every year. And this year I'm going to do a Christmas tree. So what you'll need is paper and pen, some lightweight cardboard, a needle and thread or a glue gun, one eight ribbon, I have some fabric paint, glitter, <clears throat> glitter fabric paint. You'll need felt of what color you want to use and a pair of scissors. And I think that's it. So first you draw your shape of the item you want to make onto your uh, paper and then cut that out and trace it onto your light weight cardboard and since these I put a pocket in the back of these uh, to hold the candy um, I trace it I trace the item out and then I trace it out a second time and I just decide where I want my pocket to be so I would cut across there and not this part we're just going to cut this part right here so that we can make the pocket for our tree so go ahead and get that done, and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, I have cut out my Christmas tree, and I decided to go with white again. So I have a white ribbon, and I switched to a gold glitter paint. It doesn't matter. You just do the way you want to do. So now here is my tree, the two pieces together, and here's my pocket. So now we're going to stitch all the way around. Or you can glue all the way around with your hot glue gun. And then I'll meet you back. Okay, I am halfway around now. So, and you can see I'm just doing a simple whip stitch. But I'm going to cut some ribbon. And now, of course, you can glue this ribbon. And in the past, I have made a hole at the top of my item and put a ribbon through there before. But this one, I am going to place, sandwich this, place it in between my layers of tree. And you would make this the length that you want. I'm not so sure it's really a big, important thing, but, and then... As I'm stitching my tree, I just grab a hold of that ribbon with my needle and stitch that into the tree. And then just continue on my way. Okay, I have finished stitching up my tree. And I always made the pocket on my ornament, the back of my tree, but if you want that to be the front, that's fine. So now I just take this glitter fabric paint and outline the entire tree or whatever item I'm making. So go ahead and outline and then we'll meet back. Okay, I have my outline. And now, of course, you can decorate this as fancy as you want. But I'm just going to do some squiggly lines like garland. You could sew buttons on here or some kind of gems or make it as fancy as you want but that's all I'm going to do now we have to let the front dry and then we will come back for the back so the front of my ornament has dried and somehow I figured out how to touch the paint while it was still wet so I had to do some repair here but it's not too bad so now we need to complete the back of the ornament 
And what I do is I put the person's name and the year. And I put it wherever I can fit it. So it may go long way, it may go catty corner, it just whatever works to fit it in. Okay, I am going to put the name and the year on this tree. Doing a really short name. So I have no problems fitting it right here. And then let's just do the date right here. Or the year. I don't do the whole date. Okay, so now. All we need to do is let that dry, and um, what I use these for is they're little take-homes for my guests, but they're also, I decorate with them, and I put them all on a piece of twine or ribbon or whatever I feel like that year. And then um, I just hang them up, and they're like a bunting or like a banner. So they make a great decoration, and then they go home with the guests. And here's one that I made earlier, and it has already dried. So now we just need to put candy in these and finish everybody else's and hang them up. So I hope you'll give this a try. I think your guests will enjoy them. And thank you so much for watching.